spot dry so there's no residual acetone left over to be uh, in any chance contaminating the next part. At this point, we're going to let the molding cure in the mold and we'll return back to you with uh, opening the mold up. All right, now we're ready to open the mold. We've given it time to cure. Uh, you can feel the exotherm throughout the part having warmed the mold. The tube is solid and, and will snap over. Now, depending upon the type of resin that you have, some snap, especially filler, it just cracks right away, but this is broken away. So you'll see uh, Don removing the cavity vacuum port tube and then the injection tube there, and then we'll open the mold up together. All right, now Don's loosened those clamps that we put on there initially, but he's going to give it just a touch of air. Now, too much air obviously damaged the mold. Just a quick little splat, you hear that snap. That was the release of the part, just a little bit more just to give it some. Notice though that the vacuum flange clamping force is still in place. But what we're doing now is we're getting a release of the upper mold half from the part. Now I'll give Don a hand lifting that off. Yeah, the yellow tube's been disconnected, which is the flan vacuum, and you can see that's dropped to zero, and the mold's even relaxed a bit its own right. The seals have helped lift it already. So there you are, finished molded part, uh, just a little bit of witness flash there at the vent, and now you'll see how easy it is to demold. There you go. It doesn't get easier than that. So we have it, the light RTM process producing this cell saver tub for the medical equipment produced with the infuser aviator. Thanks for watching. I'd like to make just a couple commentary follow-ups to the molding you saw us produce there just a few minutes ago. You know, this is the part that we made and then we've cut it in half. I'll show you that in just a moment. So the total part weight is about four pounds. Now realizing we can make that part and re repeat that weight within just a few grams. So there's where our cost savings and management comes into play. Closed molding is the only way to get that open mold. We'd never be able to control the cost. But we think about cost control and you think about then part material usage this part was targeted to be three millimeters or 118 thousandths. So let's go around and see just how accurate is this part. Well, there is a little bit on the thick side right there. We're measuring in at 131. So we're a few thou over that. Here we're at 125. We're at 119. 121. 129, 127. Point is we're holding the laminate thickness within a just a few thousandths of an inch. Again, open mold never could even begin to achieve that, at least not with production ready people as operators doing this day in, day out. Uh, careful, manipulous time proving it could be done by hand is technically true, but by doing it in production, it never would be that accurate. The other thing is you look at these radiuses, very uniform in thickness. So what we have then is a high quality part that you can reproduce at a very economical price. Thanks again for your attention. Call us today if we can offer any more assistance in your development of RTM closed molding.